A family of four is seen walking through a ghost town, where they come across an empty store. Evelyn, the mother, is searching for medicine for her sick son Marcus and uses sign language to communicate with her deaf daughter Reagan. Reagan then checks on her younger brother, Bo, who is drawing a picture of a rocket, signifying his desire to escape. Bo then picks up a toy spaceship from the store, but it falls, and Reagan tries to catch it before it breaks. Lee, the father, scavenged some electronics and tools while they were inside the store. As the family is about to leave the store, Evelyn tells them it will be dark soon, but their expressions change to horror when they see Bo still holding the electronic toy spaceship. Lee takes the toy from Bo, removing the batteries and warning him it's too loud. As the family starts to leave, Reagan secretly gives the toy back to Bo, who grabs the batteries before leaving. They walk back home in silence, following a trail of sand they made on their way there. As they come to a walking bridge, they hear the electronic sound of the toy coming from Bo, who is trailing behind. Lee, in horror, rushes back to his son, but it's too late, an alien creature quickly seizes and kills Bo. The Abbott family is living on their farm, where Lee has set up a surveillance system in the basement to monitor for any signs of other survivors and try to contact them. He has also collected news clippings about an alien invasion and taken notes on the alien's weaknesses. Evelyn, who is pregnant, is in a cellar, where she has created a mobile and set up an oxygen tank for the baby's use. She also has a soundproof crib ready for the child. Lee is upstairs in the silo, looking at pictures of Bo, who was killed by the alien. Evelyn asks Reagan to tell her father, Lee, that dinner is ready, which Reagan reluctantly does. After a silent prayer, the family eats quietly, using lettuce leaves as plates. Afterwards, Reagan and Marcus play Monopoly, and when Marcus accidentally knocks over a lantern, causing a rug to catch on fire, Lee quickly extinguishes it, and they wait anxiously for any consequences. However, they hear a loud noise on the roof, and Lee looks out the window to see a raccoon falling off the roof. He heads to the basement to work on a cochlear implant processor to help Reagan here. Evelyn joins him, and they share a smile and listen to music together, dancing to Neil Young's Harvest Moon. While Lee is pouring more sand on their walking paths, Evelyn is in the cellar checking her blood pressure as she is nearing her due date. She listens to the baby's heartbeat, which is strong and healthy. Reagan enters the house, being careful to walk only on the marked parts of the floor that don't creak, and wants to go down to the basement, but Lee stops her. He has added small amplifiers to her new cochlear implant processor and wants to put them on her, but she stops him and says that they never work. Disappointed, he hands them to her instead and sets out on an excursion. He wants Marcus to come with him, but the boy is scared and doesn't want to go. Reagan wants to go instead, but Lee tells her to stay and take care of her mother. She goes to her room and tries on the new cochlear implant processor, but it doesn't work, leaving her devastated. She packs a bag with her cutting pliers and an object from her dresser and leaves the farm. Lee takes his son Marcus to the river and teaches him that making small sounds is acceptable as long as louder sounds are nearby. They can speak freely next to a waterfall without fear of being heard. Marcus asks his father why he didn't let Reagan come and if he blames her for Bo's death, because she blames herself. Lee reassures Marcus that it was no one's fault, and Marcus tells him that if he still loves Reagan, he should tell her. Meanwhile, Reagan has arrived at the walking bridge where Bo's memorial is set up. She takes out the space shuttle toy and uses the pliers to cut a wire, allowing the toy to light up without making any noise. Back at home, Evelyn is carrying a laundry bag up from the basement, it gets caught on the stairs, causing her to fall and revealing a nail sticking up from the stair. While on their way home, Lee and Marcus are surprised to see an old man emerging from the woods beside the dead body of his wife. Lee urges him to be quiet, but he screams instead, leading Lee to grab Marcus and run. The old man is quickly killed by an alien creature. At home, Evelyn's water breaks, and while trying to go to the basement, she steps on a nail sticking out of the stairs and injures her foot. She tries to keep quiet but drops picture frames, attracting an alien into the house. She pulls her foot off the nail, turns on red light bulbs across the property as a warning signal, and searches for a kitchen timer. An alien creature slowly walks down the stairs into the basement, listening for any signs of life. When the timer goes off, the alien attacks it, and Evelyn runs upstairs. She sees another alien in the front yard and goes upstairs to the bathroom, where she is starting to give birth as the alien comes up the stairs. 
Lee returns home and is horrified to see that the red lights have been switched on. He signs the word rocket to his son and tells him to make a loud noise. He grabs his shotgun as Marcus runs to a designated area and lights a fuse, which sets off a series of fireworks. Lee searches the house and walks into the bathroom, where he sees an empty bathtub covered in his wife's blood and assumes she is dead. However, he discovers that she is safe and hiding in the shower with their newborn baby boy. Marcus is walking back to the house when he hears an alien and runs for it into the cornfield, but runs straight into a tractor wheel, knocking himself unconscious. Reagan returns home and sees the beam of Marcus' flashlight coming from the cornfield, but she cannot hear the alien approaching her. However, her cochlear implant processor starts producing high-pitched feedback, which scares off the alien. Reagan finds Marcus, and they retreat to the top of the grain silo. Lee has taken Evelyn and the baby to the cellar and placed the baby in the soundproof crib. Evelyn regrets not having carried Bo on that fateful day and makes Lee promise to protect their children before getting some rest. Lee leaves to look for the kids as the cellar starts to flood. Evelyn wakes up to find the cellar flooded and an alien in the room. While on top of the silo, Marcus uses sign language to tell Reagan not to worry and that their father will come for them, but she disagrees and says he will only come for Marcus. Suddenly, a hatch on the top of the silo breaks, and Marcus falls inside. As he struggles to stay afloat in the grain, the noise attracts the alien from the cellar where Evelyn is hiding. The hatch breaks away completely and falls into the silo, narrowly missing Marcus. Reagan jumps into the silo and saves her brother by pushing the hatch towards him for him to grab onto. However, she herself starts to sink into the grain. Marcus climbs onto the hatch and pulls Reagan to safety. They sit safely on top of the silo door, but they hear a crash on top of the silo. The alien from the flooded cellar jumps into the silo as they cover themselves with the hatch door. They believe they are doomed until Reagan's cochlear implant processor emits piercing feedback, causing the alien to crash out of the side of the silo. As Reagan and Marcus crawl out of the silo and into a pickup truck, Lee arrives and arms himself with an axe, but is quickly attacked by the alien, causing Marcus to scream. The alien then heads for the truck and begins to tear it apart. Reagan turns off her cochlear implant processor, allowing the alien to continue its attack. Lee, who is critically injured, makes eye contact with his daughter and signs, I love you. I have always loved you and uses a loud yell to distract the alien, sacrificing himself to save his children. They put the truck in neutral and roll it back to their home, where they are reunited with their mother. As the alien approaches, Evelyn and her children retreat into their home and go to the basement. Reagan, who has never been allowed in the basement before, sees for the first time all the work her father put into creating her cochlear implant processor. She is emotional just as the lights start to flicker. The alien corner them in the basement, but Reagan sees a note from her father that says, what is their weakness? She looks at the hearing aids on her father's workbench and has an idea. She turns on her cochlear implant processor and creates feedback, causing the alien to shudder. Reagan increases the feedback by placing the processor near a microphone, causing the alien to fall and struggle to stand up again. Evelyn then takes Lee's shotgun and shoots the alien in the head. As they see on the surveillance cameras that the commotion has attracted all the aliens in the area to their home, Reagan turns up the speakers while Evelyn reloads the shotgun and the movie ends.